Where do you find peace in your daily life? And how does one achieve that? If you go through our videos on the channel, you will see a recurring theme come up. The topic of peace. The enemy gets a foothold when he can disturb your life by stealing your peace. It is important to recognize his tactics in order to defeat him once and for all. Today's world puts an emphasis on the rat race, and the increasing pressure to make ends meet is accentuating that aspect of life. But we must understand that working excessively is not only harmful to our health, it is also harmful to our peace. And when we're lacking in peace, it affects our joy. And when we're lacking in joy, we experience an increase in anxiety and stress, and then disease sets in. Do you understand the ripple effect that occurs? For the past several years, I couldn't do much more than sit in my recliner or lay in bed. I was so exceedingly tired and in so much pain. I was barely existing. What's the point in this? I kept thinking I should be doing something, and it was stressing me out. But I needed to learn the value, rest, as much as I valued work. I was used to being associated with a job title, a man-made position that means absolutely nothing in the grand scheme of life, and I believed that money was the answer to everything. I believe that's where many people get trapped, and then we end up burning out. Since I wasn't valuing God and valuing rest correctly, I was not finding peace. Nothing really helped except in a very, very temporary manner. If you are tired, please rest. If you are exceedingly tired, make sure to see your doctor. But as a side note on that, remember that we are what we eat. Clean up your diet. It's a great starting point. Have a good look at everything that keeps you busy every day. Where do you waste time and energy? Carefully and prayerfully reevaluate what you're involved in and remove anything that does not serve God. Because guess what? If it doesn't serve God, it doesn't serve you either. God asks us to be good stewards of our time, as well as everything He grants us, including being good stewards of the body he has given us. Taking great care of ourselves by resting every week as God showed us when He created the world, and we learn to find His presence which brings us His peace, His joy, His water of life. In Genesis chapter 2 verses 1 to 3 in the Amplified Bible, it is written, So the heavens and the earth were completed, and all their hosts inhabitants. And by the seventh day, God completed his work, which he had done, and he rested, ceased, on the seventh day from all his work, which he had done. So God blessed the seventh day and sanctified it as his own, that is, set it apart as holy from other days. He gave this to us as the example to follow a mandatory rest day each week to enjoy the good works that we have done in His name, time to study the Bible and rest in His peace. In today's world, the powers that be, they're attempting to steal our peace and joy by controlling us using fear. There doesn't seem to be any green pastures to move to anywhere anymore. It's being done on purpose. Do you understand this? In Matthew chapter 11, verse 28, in the Amplified Bible, it is written, Come to me, all who are weary and heavily burdened by religious rituals that provide no peace, and I will give you rest, refreshing your souls with salvation. Your mission this week, should you accept it, 
is to pray every day and ask God to help you clear out all fears from your mind. Clear out your to-do list of everything that is not of Him and ask Him to teach you how to enjoy a godly balance of work and rest. Ask God to start infusing your soul with His healing peace. Start working on this and make sure to tune in for part two on Thursday for more on this topic. I want to thank you for watching our YouTube channel as well as taking the time to seek a closer relationship with Yahweh God. I would like to invite you to consider purchasing a copy of our 52-week Bible study journal called Reflecting on God's Word. I believe that this book is an excellent tool to help you deepen your relationship with our Father, and in focusing on Him, it will transform your life as it has for us. You can scan our QR code to reach our website's Bible Study Journal collection, where you'll find it available in English, French, and Spanish. Thank you so much for your support to our ministry and for being part of spreading the Word of God around the world.